Basically, a few months ago, I had quite a few people write into me and ask me questions like what I do for work, um, how I earn my money, how much money I earn. Definitely questions very work related. And I did a video answering all these questions. I'll link it down below if you guys missed it. But recently, I've had people comment and write into me and email me and ask me questions that are more based around the topic of how I keep going how I stay motivated is probably a better way to label it and I thought that that would make for a great video because if I was to describe myself to you one of the things that I would say is I'm very self-motivated so tip number one I've got here and this one is to me one of the most important and one of the hardest is don't compare yourself to other people this is so unbelievably hard to do in this day and age with things like social media because it's so easy to jump on things like facebook or instagram or any of the social media accounts that you might be linked to and i know that there's a lot of them and it's so easy to jump on and go through your feed and see all the wonderful things that other people are doing that might that might not be happening for you right now or happened for you and then you put yourself down when you are looking at things like social media and you're reading about other people's lives don't forget that uh, and i'm only generally speaking this is not everyone but a lot of people like to hype up and really talk up their lives i would say that it's very exaggerated and it's made to sound a lot better than what it really is Different things are happening for different people at different times in their life. So if you're scrolling through your feed and you see that someone that you went to high school with is married and has a baby or has a job promotion or all these wonderful things that aren't happening to you, that people are achieving things at different times. For some people, it's to get married quite young and for others, it happens later on in life. There's reasons for this. Everybody is on their own journey, their own timeline. There is nothing wrong with you if it's not happened or not happening right now. It will come if you stay focus if you stay motivated those things those things will be brought to you by the universe into your life at the right time number two is um where do i have it okay organized and planning let me explain because this is in two sections so firstly make a list of the goals that you want to achieve from small goals to medium to large size goals the reason why this is a really important thing to do a great thing to do is because when you um, make a list of these goals, starting off with your small goals that are a lot more achievable, every time you achieve a goal, that really boosts your motivation. It makes you happy. It makes you feel great. It sends out positive vibes, positive energy. It's going to make you even more motivated to then achieve the medium sized goals and then work your way to the large size goals. So making that list from small achievable goals down to those really big, large, almost like at this point unattainable like you just can't have those goals that's what it seems like right now it's going to boost and accelerate you to get to those big goals a lot faster and make them seem and they will be a lot more achievable the second part of making a list of those goals is making a plan on how you're going to achieve them a lot of people make goals right they sit down they're like okay i want a new car i want to have a property by the time i'm this age and something else whatever they want to achieve the problem is they don't have a plan on how they're going to achieve it so what do you think happens when you make a list you don't make a plan on how you're going to achieve it those goals don't get met and every time you don't meet a goal just like when you meet it and it boosts your motivation if you don't achieve the goal it's going to kill your motivation it's not going to make you motivated at all to achieve anything and you're going to become depressed you're going to put yourself down you're going to bring negative energy into your life which is going to lead me into the third tip so um, it's very important make a list small to large to medium to large size goals make sure that you tick that you mark it off every time you achieve that goal so you can have a look at your list you know cross them out every time you do it because when you look at that list and you're like wow you know i wrote down 10 goals hypothetically and i've achieved five of them i'm halfway there like i'm doing good you know that is again really going to boost your motivation so make a list and also plan on how you're going to achieve it make a goddamn plan <laughs> Tip number three, and this is again going to work in two sections, and I just touched on it very briefly in tip number two, and that was um, it's based around negativity. So in my opinion, there are two types of negativity, right? There's the negativity that is around you, and there's negativity that you bring upon yourself. So let's talk about the first one that I mentioned. Negativity around you. It could be in your, um, for example, let's say it's in your work environment. So you go to work 
and there's negativity around you, negative energy. Now, this is going to be a little bit tricky because sometimes in a workplace, and this is very common, which is why I'm using a workplace as an example, you've got certain people who are negative. So every time you speak to certain people or certain groups, they seem to be maybe gossiping or just talking about stuff that's negative. So if you're in that kind of environment, the best and easy thing to do is just exit walk away and get away from those conversations and those people because they just tend to talk and breed that negative energy and if you're a part of that conversation even if you're just pretending to agree and you're thinking i'm just here for the sake of listening just being around that environment you're going to catch on that energy now unfortunately in some workplaces the negativity is part of the culture if you're in a situation like that it's very difficult because i want to say that unfortunately you have to leave that job leave that environment and of course, do not leave one ship unless you have another ship to jump on. Yeah, it's it's kind of difficult because when it's part of the culture, that means there isn't even anyone that you can go to and talk to about it because they're probably negative as well. That's why I said when it's certain people, you can walk away from it. But if it's part of the culture, that means that even you know your big managers are probably feeding that negativity so if you go to them and you address it which is something that you can do so when it's certain people also one of the things i didn't mention you could do is you can address it with them or you can address it to someone above but when it's part of the culture you know it's very hard to get out of that and yes you can go to work and just try to ignore it and go on but you're going to burn yourself out because if it's around you constantly you know through everyone it's very hard to avoid that. The other negativity that I mentioned was the one that you bring upon yourself. This is kind of probably linked into the first tip that I mentioned, which was about comparing yourself to other people. When you do do that, obviously you're going to put yourself down. That's negative thoughts that you bring upon yourself. So I guess I'm gonna link it back to tip one and say, if you're not focusing on anyone or anything else other than your goals, what you want to achieve, what you want to do, it's very hard for negative energy to come into your circle. So almost imagine that you're building this invisible wall around you and you're not letting any of that negative energy come in because only you allow negative energy to come into your life. You have complete control over that. So this is where you really need to control your thoughts and that's something that's really difficult to do because I don't even know the number, but I know that we have a lot of thoughts going on in our mind throughout even just a single day, like a lot of thoughts and to try to control them all the time is very difficult but if you can master this you will really have a successful life because if you control your thoughts you cannot allow anything negative to come into your life and then if you don't allow anything negative to come into your life then you're not going to be depressed and you're not going to have a problem being motivated because you're only living and breathing positivity and um, positive energy they are my three main points on staying motivated of course there are a lot more and a lot more that i can share with you guys but they are my three top or main points on staying motivated i hope that you guys enjoyed this video or these kind of videos if you do and you want me to film more please let me know because i actually really love speaking about these kind of topics again and this is not a disclaimer i'm not you know a professional on this top or these types of topics it's just things that have worked for me and i love sharing my ideas or my tips or tricks or things that have worked for me because it might be something that works for you and i will see you all in my next video bye